Interviews. Typically, getting an interview signifies that you are moving into the next steps of getting accepted to a program, internship, job, fellowship, or anything you have applied for. Interviews can be exciting, fun, and a priceless opportunity for you to showcase just how great of a fit you would make to a program. As a future or current college student, you will want to nail down your interview skills so you can land those research positions, teaching assistantships, internships, and scholarships, and open the doors to various other opportunities. Hi, my name is Mahika Nagpal, and I'd like to take you through the anatomy of a successful interview for our second video in our communication series. The interview actually starts before you think it does. This means that there is a fair share of prep work you should do to guarantee a smooth interview experience. First, confirm the date, time, and location of the interview once you have been invited. Mark the date and time in your calendar right away. If it is a physical interview, put the address into your favorite map application and preview the route. If you are able to, practice driving to the location in advance. And if it is a virtual interview, confirm which platform you will be using and ensure that your laptop or computer supports that video calling platform. Further, designate a space in your home that is quiet, well lit, and not distracting. Sitting for your interview in your kitchen while your dog is running around and your roommate is cooking is not a great idea. Instead, try sitting in your room with a light source across from you rather than behind you and close your doors and windows to prevent distractions. Regardless of whether your interview is virtual or in person, dress professionally. Not only will this support your first impression, but it will also help you get into your interview mindset and activate your A-game. If you are going to an in-person interview, take a copy of your resume and or application. Pro tip, keep a hairbrush, lip balm, breath mints, water, anything else you might like to keep in your car or a bag for a quick touch up before entering your interview room. And depending on what you are interviewing for, you may also wish to ask your interviewer if there is anything else you can bring with you, such as samples of your previous work, references, etc. Another important pre-interview step is to do your homework. Researching some basic information about the company, project, or team you are hoping to join is going to do two things for you. First, it is going to show the interviewer your preparedness and seriousness for the role, making you stand out. Secondly, it is going to help you learn more about the position so you can confirm that this is truly something you would like to get involved with and it will help you ask more informed questions during your interview. For example, if you are interviewing for a research position, look up the lab's website, locate information about ongoing and past projects. You can typically find this information by clicking a button that says publications. To the best of your ability, try to scan through and look for projects that pique your interest. Or another example, if you are applying for an internship with a law firm, look through their list of partners on their website. Use Google, LinkedIn, and other public resources to learn about which client populations their partners specialize in. Finally, be sure to practice a few basic questions before you leave for your interview. Check out our previous video on how to introduce yourself and make sure you scan your resume so all of your experiences are fresh in your mind. Now, in the same way that you are doing your homework, employers and interviewers may also be doing their homework on you. We suggest periodically reviewing your social media presence or Googling yourself to make sure you know what impressions they have of you beyond your application. Clean up any postings that do not reflect well on your ability to do this job and interact with other people. Remember, your interview is your time to shine. It is best practice to arrive at least five to 10 minutes early so that you have a few moments to breathe and relax yourself before starting. You may be interviewed by one or more people and interviews may last anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour. You may also have multiple interviews. At large tech companies, for example, it is common practice to have multiple interviews with various members of the team. Each interview can look different. 
from being standard question and answer style to situation based or group style. You may also be invited to a technical interview, which means that you will be given a task before or during the interview and will be given a timeline to complete the task. This information would have likely been communicated to you at the time of the invitation, and it is in your best interest to complete your task when you are in a well-rested state in a non-distracting environment and complete it in a timely manner. Enter your interview space confidently with a smile on your face. Introduce yourself, learn your interviewers' names, and if appropriate, engage in some friendly small talk and pleasantries. After you have oriented yourself and warmed up the conversation, you will then be asked some questions about yourself, your educational or professional background, your experiences, your skills, and your goals. Common interview questions for nearly every field can be found with a simple Google search or by asking any mentors you have in that industry. Carefully listen to the entire question that is asked of you, take a pause if needed, and deliver your best answer. Remember that quality is better than quantity. Short, focused answers are better than long-winded, elaborate answers with little substance. A very common question asks about your strengths and weaknesses, and guess what? We all have both. Practice talking about yourself that highlights these strengths, and if you have concrete examples of how these strengths have helped you in the past, that's even better. Regarding your weaknesses, avoid listing weaknesses that are like strengths in disguise. Something like, I'm a perfectionist and pay too much attention to detail, but rather actual things you are working on. The key is not to dwell on the weakness, but rather explain what you are doing to improve those skills. Focus on your growth. If you are asked a question that you don't know the answer to, it is okay to admit that you don't know. In fact, take it a step further and ask a follow-up question or assure the interviewer that you don't know, but you intend to read up on it. It is better to be honest and admit that you don't know rather than pretend to know and state inaccurate information which could backfire on you. You're human, and hopefully your organization wants to hire humans who are eager to learn. Note that the interview is just as much of a chance for them to evaluate you as it is for you to evaluate them. Typically, towards the end of an interview, it is common practice for the interviewer to ask the interviewee if they have any questions. Have a list of three to five questions that you would like to know about the organization, the project, nature of work, logistics, as well as the team culture and growth opportunities. Asking questions shows engagement and helps you walk out with a better understanding of what might be coming your way. A common question we get is whether to ask about salaries and next steps for the position and how to do it. It can feel kind of awkward asking about money, and you probably don't want to appear overly eager to hear about the next steps, but don't fret. This is important information to know as an interviewee, and there are professional, effective ways to ask these questions. Regarding the money, you can ask this question a few different ways. You can ask your interviewer directly whether they know the compensation or salary structure for this position at this time. They may tell you right away, or they may tell you that that information is shared at the time an offer is made. You can also ask indirectly asking if they know where you can locate this information. They may point you to an HR personnel if they don't know the answer themselves. Regarding next steps, it is okay to express your enthusiasm for the position and ask directly about what next steps would be or what timeline they are hoping to follow in making their decisions. Here's an example. Thank you for your time and for telling me about this role. The more I've heard about it, I am really excited about the prospect of being selected. May I please ask what your next steps are for interviewed candidates? Or you could ask, may I know when I might hear back from your team? Finally, throughout the interview, keep your nonverbal cues in mind and try to match them to your verbal communication. Maintain good posture, make eye contact with each of your interviewers, Try to smile and keep a relaxed facial expression. Use hand gestures to emphasize your points and talk at a natural volume that is audible and clear. 
And the most important bit, be yourself. Put your best foot forward, but don't feel as if though you have to be perfect and put on a performance. Enjoy the experience, learn from it, and use it as an opportunity to grow as a communicator, despite the outcome. It is common post-interview etiquette to send a note of thanks to your interview team. You can opt to send an email or write a handwritten card. You may want to include a detail or two of what you most enjoyed about your interview experience and underscore your interest in that particular organization. Offer to provide any additional information about yourself and thank them for their time. If the interview team asks for additional information, such as references or work samples, send them in a timely manner within one to two days of your interview. Finally, relax. Give yourself a pat on the back. Your part is done. We hope that things work out in your favor. With thoughtful prep and practice, you will find your unique interview style and make a fantastic impression in any interview. If you found any of this information helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comments below.